What is going on you guys? It is Eric from the Anabolic Aliens. Today I'm here to bring you a nutrition video and it is about the question that I get asked probably more than any other question. And that is, Eric, what type of protein powder should I take? I need recommendations. I'm on the computer at home. I'm online. I'm looking up GNC, Vitamin Shop. Which one should I buy? I'm at the grocery store. This looks good. Number one, as a culture, we have pretty much been told that we need to take some sort of protein powder for general health, to build muscle, whether we're the casual mom at home just trying to get more protein in her diet, all the way up to the serious meathead in the gym, we have been pretty much told you need to drink this magic liquid in powder form mixed with whatever in order to build muscle or become healthier. It's 100% not true. Let me save you the time, I'll put this at the beginning of the video. You don't need a protein powder. It is a tool and you should use it wisely. Now when I say protein powder is a tool guys, this means you only should use it when you have to or when you're just too lazy to eat protein. And I've said this a million times throughout my videos if you've been following the channel at all. It is just not necessary to have protein powder. So the only time I would ever use a protein powder is I just got back from the gym. Let's just say this is an example. I just got back from the gym. I'm too lazy to reheat my chicken that I left in the fridge or my lean ground turkey, whatever protein source I have. So it's much more convenient to drink a shake, mix a powder with water, shake, drink. It's super easy. That goes for before the gym. That goes for any time of the day. It's a convenience thing. There's no added benefit. Drinking a protein shake is no better than eating your normal good source of protein. None. No difference. As far as how much protein you need to be getting in your diet, guys, think about it like this. A very rough, a rough estimate of how much protein you need to be consuming is in a grams to body weight fashion. So if I weigh 175 pounds, I usually want to shoot for one gram of protein per pound of my own body weight. That's rough. It's going to vary from person to person, so it's not gonna be exact for everyone. But that means I would be eating about 175 grams of protein per day. If you wanna see some more information on protein, post-workout nutrition, and overall protein goals, watch this video right here. Now let's talk about the two most common types of protein on the market that you've probably heard of. Number one, for a fact, I know you've heard of this, it's called whey protein. And whey protein can be broken down into two subcategories. Whey protein concentrate, whey protein isolate. And that leads me to my next segue. Are you lactose intolerant? Or do you have a milk allergy and understand that the two are different. A lactose intolerance, and now understand what lactose is. Lactose is a milk-based sugar that is found in dairy products. And your body lacks the enzyme lactase in order to digest the lactose, therefore causing you some sort of GI discomfort. Basically, you're gonna shit your brains out or worse. Versus someone who has an actual dairy allergy and understand what an allergy is, it means you're allergic to a protein, hence the protein in milk, which will cause a variety of non-threatening to very threatening complications depending on how severe your allergy is. Then there's casein protein, which is another milk-based protein and it comes in a few different types as well, such as calcium casein, and micellar casein. The difference between these two types of protein, I will link in this video right here, which I have already explained on the channel about seven months ago. So you can go check that video out if you want to find out the difference between these two proteins. The main thing that I will say in this video, to save you some time in case you didn't want to go watch that video, is that these two types of protein, whey and casein, both have a complete amino acid profile. That means that the quality of protein is very good. Now, if you're interested in something other than a milk-based protein, you could always go with something like an egg white protein, which I consider to be one of the highest quality types of protein on the market, but it is also going to be one of the most expensive. And the reason why people would tend to lean towards an egg white protein is if they have any issues with dairy, don't want to consume vegetarian, vegan proteins, which I'll talk about in one second, and also have a very good amino acid profile, so complete amino acid profile, but they are just very expensive to begin with. However, if you have the money, egg white protein can be a great option. Now let's talk about vegan and vegetarian protein. With regards to a complete amino acid profile, which we just talked about, normally vegetarian or vegan proteins by themselves, so each individual protein source, will not be a complete amino acid source. So what happens is usually you can find these proteins in a blend which contain a variety of different types of vegan and vegetarian proteins that when combined actually complete a complete amino acid profile. So for someone who doesn't eat meat, for someone who has dairy issues, these proteins can be a great source and sometimes can contain even more micronutrients, so your vitamins and minerals, 
compared to the other proteins we just talked about. Then there is a special category of proteins where it's like alternatives. We have like beef protein. I went to the LA Fit Expo just a few few weeks back, I would say, I saw something called chicken protein isolate. I don't really know too much about these and I wouldn't really recommend them over the things that we have already mentioned. Another thing we're going to talk about is how do you want to use your protein shake? Do you want to use it just to add more protein into your diet? Are you trying to use it as a meal replacement or are you trying to gain weight? So if you're trying to gain weight, just watch this video right here that I have about weight gainers in the channel. However, you guys, if you're trying to complete a meal, so make a meal replacement shake, understand that you can take any of the proteins you've seen above and add some macronutrient content into it as well as micronutrient content by adding things such as oats, any sort of alternative carbohydrate source, and any alternative fat source you can think of. And it actually is a lot cheaper and healthier than going with the mass gainers or the meal replacements because you know exactly what you're putting in in the exact quantities. So for example, if I was making a meal replacement shake at home with whey protein, I could do whey protein, an alternative milk source such as almond milk, add some fruit, maybe a little Little scoop of oats in there as well and I could create my own little meal out of it. Now I know this was a lot of information guys but basically the point of the video is which type of protein fits your lifestyle the best? Which ones should you try? Now as far as flavor is concerned people get very generally concerned about how are things going to taste. Is a white protein going to taste better than a vegetarian protein? Maybe but it all comes down to each individual company what types of flavor they use. If I listed every single fact in this video, this video will be about three hours long. You have to do a little bit of experimenting. You have to try different brands, find out what you like, and then stick to it. And then one day when you're feeling bold, try something new. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any more questions that are more specific that I didn't mention in the video, just make sure you put them down below so I can answer them. Because as you know, guys, we answer all of our comments and we will always be willing to help you. If you guys are looking for an online coach, just know that me and Mike do have our own website. In case you guys did not know, it's anabolic.com. You can go check that out. Make sure you like the video if you did like the video. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Adios.